Hallo, nou dan geer, welkom back to Duskers. Het is een an update, een small update. Uh, previous versions I've been playing 0.22 and some of the, the beta patches in the, the last episode and now the developer bumped it up to 0.25. So loot breakage has been overhauled slightly. So before it had a, a random chance to break. Uh, well it had a random chance to get damaged and after that a random chance to break. And if you had a bad luck, that could happen in the same mission. So it could come go from perfectly working till broken without user input. Which a lot of people were like, yeah, I'm not quite sure if that's supposed to wait. Uh, that that's the way it's supposed to work. So the developer listened and uh, changes the mechanics a bit so that once it starts to wear down, you further damage to it is actually based on usage so you will have a chance to break it every time you choose uh, choose to use it so it's your fault now if you break things rather than the game's fault so it's always good if, if it's your fault another thing that got changed is that derelicts now show what kind of derelict they are so this one is a volatile one Previous one, uh, let's see, uh, press X. Volo previous one was volatile, and the other one before that was also volatile. Uh, this one was volatile, this is volatile, 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 okay. So there's another thing uh, that the game remembers, and that's how long your longest run in the game has lasted so far. And um, this being my third run, my survival day count is up at 29 and apparently that's a good reason for the game to completely go axe murder on you so this encounter might be slightly more difficult than the next one so let's uh, double check our drones i think they are all still alive and pretty much kicking yes we have a, an extra generator but we also have a ship with a bonus generator. So I think we don't need to take the extra generator. So uh, let's jump in and get our drones horribly, horribly murdered. Let's see, so crew, seven in the hold, 18 government employees, bunch of logs are corrupted and that's it. Hull integrity is good for change, but scanning is still inconclusive. So let's have a look. Let's uh, let's begin. Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh yeah! Are there open doors? There's an open door. Yes. Not always a big fan of open doors. Open doors can lead to baddies. We have found a gun. I approve of guns. They shoot enemies. So we got it all. Uh. Oh wait, drone one is not our gatherer. Wait, did we choose to move that? Ah, Tweaky is now our gatherer. Sorry Tweaky, just completely overlooked you. You can go get roll. Yes. Now we have mouse who does motion sensing and interfacing. I don't think we found an interface just yet. Okay, let's uh, get you away from that that gun turret. Thinking, let's explore this side first. We have a teleporter lock here. There's uh, a vent here. So that's where swarms can spawn from. So rooms with a vent, always a potential source of danger. Uh, let's uh, close some doors. T13, so whatever comes from the vent, it's not gonna go there. Uh, let's see, R, yeah. So let's do some scanning. We have a number two, number two, Ooh. stand here. Ooh. But this is not a gathering. You are a generator. Let's put you to the side. 
can do a door. Yes. Then you can do a gather all. Because you can actually gather. We got jump fuel. That's nice. That means we can actually leave the system. Get full jump propulsion fuel again and all that good stuff. So I'm not complaining about that. So let's, uh, let's have a look. If we go in here and in here, then from here we can motion sense that room, that room and whatever is potentially here. And again, if we stand in motion sensing, we can sense this one and that one, which we need before we go through. So that's good. So let's line this one up for uh, moving through. Let's uh, have mouse move over here so we can close this door and then start sensing. Horst D6 is no longer responding. That's fun. It's volatile. Uh, it's a volatile one, right? So, mouse. No, actually. Sarah, you. Motion. Our generator is now scanning. The R5 is completely, perfectly healthy, which is good. Let's get that one closed. So, we opened up that one. Ooh, defensive gun. Toilet. Still no interface. So, let's uh, get drone number one over here. Also, we might notice we can't actually scan whatever the heck is in that room. But we need an interface to do something useful. So, this might be RNG striking back at us. Oh, there's something nasty in there. Okay, so let's avoid room 6. Uh, room 4 results inconclusive. Room 3 results inconclusive. Yeah, that's where our people are. Mm. So we know there's something bad in here. We know there's a vent in there. This might contain a swarm of flies as well. This is where it gets fun. It's time to gamble. Actually, we can release water, whatever is in room 6 out into room 4. Because now it's, uh, it's all clear. Which means we can open up room 3 and have a look in what's here. And we found an interface. Oh yeah. Uploading data to Mothership. Wait, what? That's new. I hope they refer to our ship as the Mothership. Ship scan. Oh, there's a vent. A red vent. Next to where we have docked. I'm a bit less of a fan now. Let's see. Open up the door. Navigate. Two, two, one. Uh, Close A1. Remote R3. Okay, so separating things, it's, it's not a matter, there's no timing involved. Remote R3. Yes, so we have remote power, which is very, very, very useful to use in this situation. Because we can't actually trust room 3 anymore because we know there's a vent in here. We also know there's something wrong with room 4. Um, but we can have mouse move over here and close the door. We just play a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Interface. A game of musical chairs. We say defense on. We open up number 12. And we wait until something gets horribly, horribly murderized. One, two. Sweet. So the theory that potentially swarms of flies have escaped from room two, gone in here, gone in there, that theory might actually have been proven true. So let's uh, have a look. 
purple. That's just two birds. That's not swarms. Okay. Even more interesting. So, oh wait. No terminal. Wait. Let's uh, jump to you. You have your terminal. Yeah, defense is activated. So, let's uh, open up that one and that one. So, we can start setting up a death trap. We now know for ourselves not to go there, but we know if something which is to go through, it's going to get shot. So if a swarm of flies comes out, it will at some point wander over and actually get itself killed. Okay, so let's see, Tweaky is currently interfacing. Yeah, that's not necessary anymore though. Let's, uh, let's gamble. Turret, don't shoot through doorways, so we're safe as long as we stay on this side of the doorway. Luckily, the monsters don't know that. Um, let's see, this is our gatherer, so let's keep this one for uh, gathering. And let's uh, send mouse here, over there. Twiggy, get out, by the way. Do some motion sensing. Of course we don't get any results from that one. in, park ourselves in, close the door, open the door, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, should have wanted in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, I'm uh, running out of patience. Let's open the door. If something was in there, plausibly, it would have been found so already. There was a vent in here, wasn't there? Yeah, it's apparently underneath here. Ooh, we found a drum. A module. We found the mother load. Uh, what happened there? Oh, we just lost the transport again. That was uh, less traumatizing than I had expected. In all fairness. The noise was just way more panicky. And power. We can use power. So let's uh, remote R2. Can we, uh, we need to. Disable the power first, so remote. Uh, let's close off the valve. So that way, if something comes from this swarm, it goes through here, gets murderized, and we just keep this as a death corridor. I'm fine with that. So we disconnect the power, so that's remote R3. Disconnect, yep. Yeah, disable it, remote R2. Okay. And we locked our drone 1 in. Maybe that might not be the best of ideas. Uh, interface 3. You go, search for an interface. Ship scan. Yes. Are there any defenses anywhere? Oh, we actually have a, a layout of a full level. There's defenses over there. All defenses have been activated, that's good. One, two. Why is the third? That's probably in room nine. Or. Yeah, one, two, and a mysterious one. Interesting. We have a mystery turret. Has to be this room, because it's the only one we don't have a scan on. Okay. Um, boom, 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 boom. 
remotes R2, R2 disable, remotes R3 enable, open up door 11, navigate drone 1, 2, room 2, close up T11, close up T13, remote R3 disable, remotes R2 enable, yes. So let's see, we can take Tweaky. Our gatherer and tower and interfacer are super strong. You go gather. Oh, let's have a look. So we now know this room to be clear. We know this room to be clear because of the guns. If there was anything in here that could move, it would have been shot. And uh, we can argue that room 9 is clear as well. We've never been in room 12, so that's a problem. Well, we can open up door 17. If there's anything in this room, we can lure it to a door with a gun. And we can do the same for door 10. Just to uh, make it easier for things to die. That's what I say. Something killed. That's good. I, I approve of killing of things that try to kill me. Just for uh, defensive killing purposes, of course. Let's uh, dock on A2. Move the ship. What is this info? We have... Ship upgrade. Transporter. Oh, nice. We got a backup transporter. That's pretty insane. And we have a destroyed drone called Matt. What does Matt have? Matt has a speed boost. Ooh. We have a mouse here, that's probably gonna want that. So, speed boost makes the drone faster, but it's already, it's been used on four missions before, so it has a failure probability of 17%, so it's damaged. Uh, it's also passive, so that's going to be active by default, I'm assuming. I'm quite sure how this applies to the, how the new breakage mechanic works for active modules. Well, we'll see. Okay, but he's destroyed, so we can't actually bring him. But look at how fast Mouse is. Speedy Gonzalez. Fastest mouse on the planet. Uh, let's have Tweaky Toe. Open up A2. Navigate 3 to, uh, to room 1. Toe it back. So, and then we say toe again to drop it. And we go out. And we close the door. Let's see, it's for consistency and because there is a horrible, horrible event in there. Let's close it. So, this room ought to be pretty darn safe. That ought to be pretty darn safe. We have no clue what this room does. Ooh, let's open up the door 8. Expose it to the elements. 16 and door 18, let's open up those as well. I mean, we're assuming there's a, a gun in room 9, not 100% certain of that. Um, that was nothing killed, it was just the transporter flipping out. Okay, so let's uh, interface and disable the guns. Yeah, I already did a ship scan. Uh, let's see. So there's two vents we know of. This one is contained, and this one is also contained with a gun over there. So we ought to be pretty safe. So let's uh, make a rope through, and we go our way that way back. So, squeaky. Door 7. Same old interface. It's a gun there. This is a room we haven't scouted before. This ought to have a turret. Yes, this is the turret. There's a vent in here. Uh, it's less than stellar. That's the color. Oh, just white. Okay, I'm confused now. I thought these were vents, but now I'm looking. These are vents. 
Could it be just that it's the transport signal being listed? Okay. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. Gather all. Or that was it. It's not a lot more to gather. Wondering how plausible it would be for the the drones and the, the enemies that get shot to actually drop scrap. I mean, if they're robots with guns and they get killed. Shouldn't there at least be some scrap metal? No, there's a whole disabled drone thing over there. Well, ah, okay. We did a full clear. I am surprised. What? Oh. Panic over transporter signals. That was just a way too freaky coincidence. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. All drones are accounted for. End of mission. So, we survived. We managed to obtain some jump fuel. We gathered some scrap and we survived for a full seven days. And we managed to get a speed boost and a transporter upgrade. A second transporter upgrade. So if the first one breaks, we have a backup. Not even sure if ship things can break, but it's good to have a backup. Uh, in terms of drone... Yeah, that speed boost needs to be fixed. So let's jump to the modifications screen. Uh, that one, yes, speed boost. Wow, cost us 10. But it's, uh, it's so nice to have a full speed boost. Motion sensor. <coughs> Okay, we only have to pay two scrap to add 25 to it, so that's another seven uses, then we need to boost it, so that's uh, not going to be an issue. Hey, they actually list now how many missions things have been used and what the failure probability is going to be. So 3%, that's pretty low still, that's good. And indeed, there doesn't seem to be a failure chance in ship modules, <coughs> so I'm good, I'm happy with that. Okay, so we only have zero plus one propulsion fuel. Uh, doesn't make, so we can't go anywhere. So we have to jump to another system. But also there's an objective thing blinking. Let's see, great cool. Uh, we have to scan all the rooms of a class A or B space station. I don't think we did that. What war? Hey, military data. I think we managed to achieve an objective. Locate a military vessel and interface with the ship's system from within to search for the data. <coughs> okay, we might have found something. Because this was a military grade ship that we were in. Defense data. Board any defense outpost and interface with the local terminal. Okay, so now next up we need to find a defense outpost. But to do that we need to go further, go beyond into the universe. So we jump to the galaxy map. Currently we are here in a system called Sigva. We can jump to Tha, jump to Inanna, or we can jump to Grint Endem. Um, I don't think we have a clue of as to what the nature of the universe is. So just play making blind decisions. This one had eight objects of which we visited four. This one has six objects. Uh, and eight objects, eight objects. And these have circles around them. Ah, uh, let's uh, let's jump over here and have a look. So, let's see, a volatile salvage sea. There's a new one here, Stargate. Interesting, I don't think I've actually encountered a Stargate before, so let's make that our mission to see if we can get there. Because we've got six propulsion, plus one. So we can, yeah, we can, we can do some scouting around and then end up at the Stargate and see what that does for us. Maybe it takes us to a completely different universe, that would be cool. But that's for another episode. We just managed to get here, so next one to explore is going to be this salvage sea ship. So I thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.